Christian Vieri, 27 games, 24 goals. Filippo Inzaghi, 25 games, 20 goals. David Trezeguet, 24 games, 20 goals. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 25 games, 5 goals. How do you expect me to sell you a set like that? If I scored 20 goals, even my mother could be my agent. You think you're cool? You think you impress me with your gold watch or your Porsche and your Gucci jacket? You are nobody. Fuck you. You sure? Because I can make you into something. But then you have to do exactly what I say. You're gonna work three times as hard. And you're gonna sell the gold watch on the Porsche. What do you, think, what do you say to people in Sweden that think uh, Staten and Bremen go to, to a league who is not that good as uh, the Italian? Something like go fuck yourself? Or something in that attitude? Because these people always have something to complain about Slatan. Uh, I've never heard this kind of people say, hey, that's good, we have a Swedish guy that is bringing up the Swedish flag. And I told that already two, three days ago. I don't think that there are some people uh, that don't deserve Slatan to be Swedish, but okay, he is Swedish and he's proud of it. There's always people that always want to criticize something, you know? And uh, I said that is in the Italian uh, uh, papers always. It is very, very, maybe not nice to hear, but Slatan doesn't need money. Slatan needs emotions, he needs objectives, he needs, uh, he needs targets to win for. Uh, this is not the kind of uh, player that uh, is motivated or drifted by money. Money is a consequence of, of so, some other things. Rilo was born in 1967 in Acera Inferiore, Campania, in southern Italy. He moved to the Dutch city of Harlem a year later with his parents. Growing up in the Netherlands, his father established a chain of pizzerias, where Ryle spent his younger years, first washing dishes in an attempt to grow closer to his father, and later as a waiter. Due to his Dutch language skills being greater than those of his father, he eventually began advising and organizing within the business. At the same time, he obtained his high school diploma and attended university for two years, enrolling in the faculty of law. In a 2016 interview with German sports magazine Eleven Freunde, he said his law studies were waste of time, after all, I can buy lawyers. He started playing football for the youth team of HFC Harlem, but stopped at age 18 in 1987 to become head of the youth team, and later as the club's technical director. After a brief venture as a player and administrator, Ryla remained involved in the football world as a football agent. He began working at Sports Promotions, a sports agency company, and assisted in the transfers of several high-profile Dutch players to Italian clubs, including Ajax player Brian Roy, in 1992 to Faggia, Marciano Vink, in 1993 to Genoa, Wim Jonk and Dennis Bergkamp, both in 1993 to Internazionale, and Michel Creek, in 1994 to Padua. Speaking to British broadcaster Sky Sports in 2021, Roy and Creek both praised Ryla for his ability to help them settle and taking the time to help with everyday aspects of their lives, including opening bank accounts, buying cars and accommodation. While staying with Roy and Fagia, Ryla met his wife and encountered the club's manager Zdenek Zimon, with whom he quickly became friends. Zimon wanted a player who dribbled like Maradona, ran 17 kilometers per game and trained like a fanatic, but Ryla believed such a player did not exist. After falling out with Rob Jansen, who had founded Sports Promotions and had been Ryla's boss, he decided to leave the company and start his own business. In 1995, the European Court of Justice's bossman ruling allowed out-of-contract players to move throughout the European Union without transfer fees, coupled with an increase in television money in the sport. This made transfers and player contracts more important in club football, and therefore meant agents were more necessary to players than ever. His first major independent transfer was Pavel Nedved signing from Sparta Prague for Lazio following his impressive performance at UEFA Euro 1996. Lazio's manager at the time was Zimon, and was the player he had requested from Ryla years earlier. Ryla sold the template of Nedved, an extremist who can train harder than you can imagine, 
to several players throughout his career. Raiola instigated Nedved's transfer to Juventus in 2001, where he would win the Ballon d'Or in 2003, and resulting in a commission of 6 billion lira. He later guided several of Zlatan Ibrahimovic's transfers that led him to being cumulatively the second most expensive footballer in history by 2016. In 2008, he was involved in two disciplinary hearings instigated by the Federazione Italiana Giuoco Calcio FIGC, for transfer irregularities as part of a wider investigation of professional football by Italian authorities. In August 2016, after closing the world record transfer of Paul Pogba to Manchester United, Raiola made a reported 25 million euros from Popa's 105 million euros transfer, subsequently, he bought the former Miami home of gangster Al Capone, for 9 million euros. On May 8, 2019, the Italian Football Federation banned Raiola from acting as an agent representative for three months for undisclosed reasons, while his cousin Vincenzo Raiola was banned for two months. On 10th of May, the bans were extended worldwide after the FIFA Disciplinary Committee absorbed the Italian Federation's decisions. On 13th of June, after Raiola and his cousin appealed the original ban to the Federal Court of Appeal in Italy, they won, resulting in a revoking of the three-month ban. In 2019, Raiola, along with fellow agents Roger Whitman, Jorge Mendez, and Jonathan Barnett, formed the Football Forum an international movement of players and agents to help create a new football system opposed to FIFA. On January 22, 2020, Raiola, along with Mendez and Barnett among others, threatened FIFA with legal sanctions following the planned cap on transfer payments. During a 2021 interview with The Athletic, Raiola explained that his feelings towards FIFA stemmed from the many scandals and allegations of corruption aimed at the organization. Reputation Viewed as a super agent, Raiola was among the most high-profile agents in football, with his involvement in lucrative transfers making him as famous as his clients. He was regularly categorized as being among the richest and most powerful agents in the sport, and upon his death in 2022, Italian newspaper La Pizzetta dello Sport described him as the most powerful, the best, the most discussed. Due to his success, he was a controversial figure seen as unscrupulous and impudent and his brash style led him into conflict with figures throughout world football such as Napoli chairman Aurelio De Laurentiis, who he compared to fascist dictator Benito Mussolini, and former Manchester United manager Alex Ferguson, who labeled him a shitbag while recalling dealings he had with Raiola which lead to the departure of Paul Pogba from the club. Football executive Adriano Gagliani, who dealt with Raiola at AC Milan, said he and Raiola developed a positive relationship based on sympathy due to the conflicting interests of the other, and acknowledging that Raiola only wanted what was best for his clients. Raiola was known as a hardball negotiator, and as an agent who regularly defended his clients from criticism, often leading to him using the media to insult pundits and managers such as Paul Scholes, and Pep Guardiola, saying that as a person he's an absolute zero. He's a coward, a dog. Dutch journalist Taco van den Velde attributed his success to his hard work and intelligence, and his ability to fight for what was best for his client. Raiola described himself as an altruist in contrast to fellow agent Jorge Mendez, who he described as an egoist, due to the differing motivations of both. Due to working for his father's restaurant, the caricature of Raiola as a pizza maker was formed following a clash with former Inter Milan player Sinisha Michlovic. He was often characterized as being from the American television program The Sopranos due to his personality, fashion sense, and attitude, including by Ibrahimovic, and was regularly underestimated due to his appearance. In his autobiography I am Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he recalled choosing Raiola as his new agent based on a description by Dutch journalist Taste Sleggers of Mafioso. Writing for Spanish newspaper Marca in 2016, Jose Felix Diaz noted that Raiola's residence in Monaco was in a small apartment rather than in luxurious mansion, and his lifestyle had not changed, opting not to wear fancy clothing. His office was based in Monte Carlo and had no traces of luxury according to Italian newspaper La Repubblica, and only four employees. I knew that I, I was sitting in front of a guy that was extremely talented. And I knew that I was sitting in front of a guy that had the same character that I had. And after five minutes I saw also in him somebody that is totally himself, not playing a game or trying to act. 
mm. you know. And obviously, uh, when I said to him, you needed to score more, and he said, well, if I would do that, my mother would be my agent. I knew I had the right person with the right talent, with the right attitude, that I only needed to put him on the right road. Mm. It was easy.